Alright, good day everyone. This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. And in today's lesson, we are going to explore the different uh, views displayed in our project browser. And we are going to apply also view templates and modify the view properties. Okay, so let's get started. So again, we will be using the sample project that the Revit 2016 provided to us. So again, if you want to use the sample project, just to show you again, so you can find it on your program uh, drive C, program files, Autodesk, Revit 2016, and then you can see here the samples. Okay, so you can just modify the sample here. And in this lesson, I am using the RME sample project. Okay. Alright, so let's get started. So you can explore views displayed in our uh, project browser by using your navigation wheel. Okay, navigation wheel or the uh, steering wheel can be found on your navigation bar. So in case your navigation bar here is closed, you can always go to your view tab and you can go to the user interface and then you can select here navigation bar okay so you just need to tick that and then you can see here the navigation bar so you can select the full navigation wheel here and then you can use the pan orbit and zoom tools in the steering wheel to browse the 3d view like for example so you can use the pan you can use the orbit and you can also use the zoom in zoom out okay you can also view the steering wheel options by selecting this drop down arrow here and then clicking the options okay so this is the option of your navigation wheel or the steering wheel and aside from that Okay, so I'm just going to select OK. So I'm going to select Modify here to close my steering wheel. So the next tool that you can use to navigate your view is by using the View Cube. Again, the View Cube can be found on your navigation bar. Just this one. Okay. So you can click and drag to orbit so that you can perform a flat orbit of the model in which the ground plane does not move uh, in the view. So let's say I'll select here the top portion over here. You can drag your view. You can drag the compass. You can select. Okay, you can select different faces on your view cube. And then if you want to go to the default isometric view, you just need to select here the home view. Okay, you can also select, uh, you can also place the cursor anywhere over the cube portion of the view cube. So you can orient the view to an angle by clicking the appropriate portion of the view cube and dragging while holding the left mouse button on your mouse. Okay. So I'll just select again the home view here to go to the default isometric view. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the level 2 lighting plan. Okay. You just need to double click this. And then I'm going to zoom into this portion. Okay. You can right click on the blank space and then you can select zoom in region. Right, so just zoom in region and then you can pick two points, one here and then another one here. Okay, or you, ju you just simply zoom in your mouse uh, using your mouse to that particular view. So for this one, I'm going to open this section here. So the name of this section is section 18. So I'm going to open this section by selecting the section line right click and then I can select here go to view so to open that section now in this view you will notice that they already created here our call out 
the name of this view is call out of section 18. So if you want to open a call out, all you have to do is to select your call out, right click, and then you can select go to view. So another option of opening your call out is by simply double clicking the circle part here of your call out. So just double click that to open the call out view. And then from here, you can select the boundary, the crop region, and use the shape handles to expand the view on your section. Okay, so basically that's how you use your call out. Okay, so that's how you resize. Now for the next part of the exercise, I'm going to teach you how to duplicate a view in Revit 2016. So to do that, from my project browser, I'm going to right-click level 2 HVAC plan. So I'm going to right-click this, and then there's the duplicate view tool. So for this one, I'm going to use duplicate only. Okay. So notice that after you duplicate that view, a copy level 2 HVAC plan copy one was created. Okay, so let us rename this one. So I'm going to rename this view. Rename. Okay, so I'm going to change the name here. Let's say this is my uh, HVAC plan uh, return. Okay, so in this exercise, I want to create a view that will show only the return system. So I'm going to name it HVAC return. Okay, so this is the standard way to duplicate and create a new view. Okay, so after that, I'm going to duplicate again the level 2 HVAC plan by simply right-clicking again, selecting duplicate view, and selecting duplicate with detailing. Now, for this one, okay, I'm going to rename this to supply. Okay, because let's say, for example, in this uh, view, I want to show the supply system of this level 2 HVAC plan. So I'll just name it uh, HVAC supply. Okay, so from this point, you can compare the level 2 HVAC plan return with the level 2 HVAC plan supply view. Okay, so notice that the dock and air terminal tags are visible in our Supply. If you are going to zoom in, so you will see here that there is a tag of your dock. Okay, so there's the tag of your air terminal. But if you are going to open your return here, so you will notice that there is no annotation here. There is no tag. Why? Because when you duplicate this, you only select here, duplicate. Alright, so if you want to include the detailing, so you can select duplicate with detailing, which is what we just did on our level 2 HVAC supply, HVAC plant supply. So you will see that there's the tag here. Okay. So if you want to see all the views that you have opened so far, you can go to the view tab and then you can select here the tile windows or you can also type WT okay so you can see here all the views that you have open and if you want to uh, make all of these views uh, fit to each uh, viewport you can type ZA okay you can type ZA Zulu Alpha so ZA so it will make your views fit to your screen Okay, now for the next part of the exercise, I'm going to apply view templates. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize my level 2 return, level 2 HVAC plan return, which is this one. So I'm going to maximize this and right click, zoom to fit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply here a view template. 
view template since it has something to do with view you can go to the view tab and then you can see here view templates okay so this is the view template so a view template according to the definition is a collection of view properties such as view scale discipline detail level and visibility settings that are common for a view type so you use the view templates to standardize settings for a view in a project okay your view templates only affect your uh, current view if you're just going to select here apply template properties okay so i'm going to select here apply template properties to current or, or you can also right click the view here and you can select uh, apply template properties so it's the same okay so I'm going to select apply template properties and then you can see here the apply view template dialog box and from this view okay so our view type filter is set to floor structural area plans so you can see here the view templates that you just uh, that the that we have in this exercise okay okay and one of the view templates here is the hvac return okay so if you select the hvac return so you will see here the property of that view template okay so for this one i'll just change the scale view to 1 is to 50 okay so meaning to say if i'm going to apply this view template to this current view it will have these properties like for example the scale value of 1 is to 50 okay so I'm going to apply this view template to this view so this is already set up to show our view here the return system okay so I'm going to select apply properties and then I select here okay so you will notice that your view now updates okay so if you are going to open the visibility graphics override okay to open the visibility graphic overrides all you have to do is to type vg victor gold or you can also go to your properties here and then you can select edit Okay, so it will open your visibility graphic overrides. So again, any changes that you made here, it will only affect your current view. It will not affect your other view. Okay, so the visibility graphic overrides only affect your current view. Now, if you take note of the filters here, so they already created the filter here named mechanical return and mechanical supply. And the visibility of the return is check here okay so that's why all the elements under the return system is being shown like for example if I'm going to select this doc you will notice that the system classification here is return air if I select this air terminal so the system classification here is Oh, so they, they also included here the exhaust air. Okay. So exhaust air and return air is being shown in this view. Okay. So let us check the property of this filter from the visibility graphic overrides. Filters. Okay. So you can go to edit slash new to check out this filter okay so this filter shows the system classification of return so it includes all the air terminals as well as the docs here all right so this is the property of that one okay so i'm just wondering why is it the exhaust here is being shown also Okay, so if you if I'm going to move my pointer here and then uh, press the tab, it highlights all the branch or the dock or the connected dots, and then as you can see, exhaust air here is selected. 
okay but that is not what we are trying to show here so you can just hide your exhaust here if you want you just tap okay so you can tap twice one two you click and then after that right click you can hide that elements okay so from here on so what we are going to do next is we are going to right click our supply here and then let us apply the HVAC return okay so don't worry so after we apply the HVAC return view template in this view we are going to change that setting to create another view template that we are going to name HVAC supply okay so I right click this apply template properties and then I'm gonna select here the HVAC return so right now we don't have HVAC supply which is what we are going to do so for the meantime I'm going to select the HVAC return and then I select OK okay so if, I, if you're going to open this okay so again in this view it will open only your uh, return now to modify this since we want to show here the supply we do not want to show the return system so I'm going to open the filter again by opening the visibility graphic overrides going to the filter all right so this time I'm gonna uncheck the return and then I'm going to check the supply after that I just select ok ok so so this is now your supply system okay so what we are going to do is using the settings of this view we are going to create a view template so that the next time you have another view wherein you want to show only the supply system so all you have to do is to apply the view template properties okay so to do that I'm going to right click this and then this time I'm gonna select create view template from view okay and then you just put the name here so this is our H HVAC space supply supply and then okay and then it will open the dialog box okay so as you can see you already have here your view template so you now have return and then you now have the view template so I'll just select OK to close the view templates dialog box okay so view template is very useful so that the next time you have another view like uh, level 3 level 4 and then you want to show there the supply so all you have to do is to apply the view template that you created Okay. okay so let us try to explore more our view so this time I'm going to open my 3d view okay and then I'm going to zoom into this portion so from here on you can change the view properties using your view control bar okay so this is the view control bar so Let's say for example I want to I want to change the visual style so you can just select this icon here and then you can select wireframe. Okay, so you can select that. So as you can see this is now the wireframe view. Okay, you can select the other options here like uh, shaded view, realistic, okay. Or other options available here so I just select the hidden view okay so another thing that you can do is to explore the view let's say I'm going I'm going back to level 2 HVAC plan this one okay and then I'm going to uh, zoom into this portion okay so I'll just zoom into this portion and then you can use another tool here by 
selecting temporary hide isolate. So this is how you use temporary hide isolate. So what you can do is you need to select first the element that you want to temporarily hide or isolate. Like for example, this one I'm going to select. So I'm going to select this tool, temporary hide isolate. So you just select that. And then from here on, you can select these options, like for example, isolate category. Now, to check the category of the selected elements, so before I select this option, okay, so if you want to check what is the category of this doc or this element, you just need to take a look at the properties and then you will see here the category. Okay, so this is how you check the category of an element. So like, for example, what is this? I select, so you will see that the category there is air terminal. So if I'm going to select this again, this dock, and then select this tool, temporary hide isolate, if I select isolate category, what will happen is it will isolate this element or it will isolate the category of the selected elements, in our case, the dock. So if I select this, see? So you will notice that it will isolate all the elements under the category of duct regardless of the sizes or the type. Okay, so as long as they are under the same category, they will be isolated. Now to return back to normal view, so you just need to select it again. And then you can select reset temporary hide, isolate. Okay, so let us try to use the other options. So I'm going to select, select this. Okay, when you say hide, like, uh, hide category, it will hide all the elements under the, uh, within the category of that selected element. So I select hide category. So now it is hidden. Okay, so all the elements under that category is now hidden. You can also check out the boundary here. You see, it says temporary hide isolate. Okay, so reset again. Now, so I'm going to select again this element. This time I select isolate element. Okay, when you say isolate element, it will isolate the selected element or elements okay so you can select multiple elements and then you can isolate those elements by selecting here isolate category okay so I can select this let's say I'm going to hold control to add an element from the selection so let's say I'm gonna add this air terminal okay so if I want to isolate these two elements so I select here isolate element so it will be isolated. Okay. So I'm going to select again. Hold control. Select the air terminal. So this time I select hide element. Okay. You see? Right? Okay. Reset. Right? So that would be all for this exercise. Now, if you think that this exercise helps you, why don't you hit the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching the video. Okay, so I'll just close this one and hope to see you guys again on the next edition of Learning with Rich. Thank you.